Hey, it's Wes. I'm in the Young Hollywood studio. I'm about to go to my interview right now. All right, take this one. Videotaping things, you should be very yeah, good at this. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> my camera was bigger. I don't even just say you feel like a camera, it feels like my wallet. This is already good stuff. We're, we're talking with, <laughs> with Wes Bentley. We're talking about watching yourself on camera. Yeah. And whether or not, I'm not comfortable watching myself on camera, but you, you were what? saying like when you did first did American Beauty, how you watched it over and over and over, but now you haven't seen it for a few years. Yeah, I didn't see it. I, I saw, I went, we went to a nationwide press tour and it was on, on a bunch of big screens, new audiences, no one had even heard about the movie. And, um, it was fun, so I stuck around and watched it every time. With because, the fans? With the fans, because <laughs> I liked the movie, but also I wanted to see all the reactions. and um, Their reactions showed me something new every time. Now, is that helpful as an actor, if you do get that for the next film? Or oh, if yeah, good question. I don't know. I, I don't think it, I don't think you should go <laughs> off of that. Because <laughs> no. everyone's so different, you know? You yeah. Be, you, you, what do they say? You, you, you coach yourself right into the stands. Like, if coaches and on sports teams, if they listen to everybody else, then they would coach themselves right into the stands. And yeah. I'd be out of the job. So you just have to kind of kind of have to trust that you have the talent to be there in the first place. Right. Now, I found it quite ironic that we made you do the bloggy when you walked in. <laughs> because this film, the time being, yeah. it's... Uh, I want to say how good a job I did, too. It was amazing. I think I the camera was up my nose the, the only, whole time. And, and I have to say, you were terrible. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> I didn't know what the... It was like down it was here. awful, yeah. I think it was on my face for like a mi uh, maybe a second. But in this film, you are how you're an artist, but you're hired mm -hmm. to videotape seemingly random things but it turns out they're not so random right yeah they're the part of a master master plan <laughs> of, right. of somebody else is yeah. this fair to say and tell me if i'm completely wrong because in the hunger games you were kind of like the puppeteer yep but in this film you're more like the puppet i'm the puppet yeah for <laughs> sure yeah yeah i'm the one not knowing what's going on yeah he i go to him i i, I think i'm gonna I'm, gonna I'm a painter who thinks he's gonna get a um a commission out of this guy this rich man and i just he just asked me to do strange things with the camera or seemingly strange things with the camera but you do it do it because I yeah he needs to he needs to pay the bills. You need to pay the bills. He's a struggling artist. Yeah. Needs to pay the bills and and so that's kind of the it's kind of one of the interesting things about the film is you see what artists really have to do to to make money. Sometimes it's it's hardly you know it's hardly ever really ideally what you would like to be doing. He's got a whole file on me. What do you know about him? Not much. I can't live like this. I don't know how else to say it. I have nothing to go home to. Well, then you've got nothing to distract you from your work. Eh? So. Yeah. Well, I was wondering if there's any similarities between that and Hollywood. Oh yeah. Because in Hollywood, you know, I think there's a line in the film, but I'm an artist, and it's like a, a lot of actors come to Hollywood and they want to do these certain types of films, but then they find themselves doing. It's like, wait a second, this is one. I, this is not what I signed up for. Oh uh, yeah, I would think everybody would agree that they that that's exactly how even the most successful are those who have been able to do more than most. It's it's inevitable. You're gonna to have to make some choices that you didn't wanna you didn't wanna make, and, and especially if you have a family. And that's kind of what the film's theme is about too. As an artist with a family, there's a great line in the film from Frank's character that says, "Artists can't have families." You have and a young family. I have, you have a, a family. young baby. I do. I have, child. A, I have yeah. a two and a half year old yeah. boy. And no, I, I I had my own little struggle with it for like a minute. You know, I thought, can I really be a good actor and and and, and also be a great dad? And, I chose right away. I want to be a great dad. I don't care if I struggle as an actor, but I've actually found that I've, uh, it's like, it feeds me as an actor. I get a lot of energy from him and he just, he's seeing life. He's so fresh, you know, it's like it, it, it refreshes me and um, I can use it as an actor, you know. So Corey Stoll and Sarah Paulson, your co-stars in the film, were in here before. Oh yeah? What's interesting to me is, especially in a dramatic film, how a lot of times dramatic actors are the funniest people oh, yeah? that we interview. Uh, yeah. Sarah's like, she's, she's. Oh, she's hilarious, yeah. She's very fast, Sarah. Yeah. She is. Yeah, it's, I think it's from because there's so much uh, <laughs> there's so much sadness, and sadness is, is innately funny. <laughs> and on the flip side, comedic actors can sometimes be real downers. <laughs> yeah, they really can. It's like they have no energy left for you. <laughs> yeah, they walk and they're like, oh, <laughs> they're just done. And then the camera rolls, and they're like hysterical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think because you're just trying to laugh off the pain is what is, is what that it's what all it about. is? Yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? Just so a whole we, lot of pain. So I know you have, you're going to be shooting a pilot mm -hmm. called Open. Yeah, Open. And it's Ryan Murphy, yep. who's had just a little bit of success. Well, I know Sarah yeah. worked with him before. Sarah did um, American Horror Story with him. Oh, yes, him. of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. 
And of course, we we all know him from Glee, but this is going to be, this is HBO, and this is not going to be your Glee. No, no. I asked him specifically, is this going to be Glee? <laughs> Do I have to sing <laughs> yeah, and dance? Because I will. I Are can, you good at no, it? No, no, I'm terrible, but I'll do it. I mean, I would do it, but it's not going to be good for the so show. This is, so it's, oh, so what can you tell us about it? Because I know it's going to be, it's based, a, it's a lot of sexuality. It's exploring sexuality. Yeah, we can, I could say it. You stumbled through that. I know, you? I did. You're I did. very I, nervous I, I to say that word. I, no, no, I can fully embrace. But wait, are, is there going to be a lot of nudity? Do you know, do you know yet? It's HBO, right? I right. Mean, yeah, there. I mean, if there's not, I'm going to make sure there is. <laughs> are you? <laughs> yes. Are you? I'm just going to show up naked. Yeah. Really? Every scene, yeah. You request that in yeah. your contract. Yeah, oh it's yeah. Like request. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> well, is it going to be male nudity? Oh, like just frontal? Yeah. No, I don't think so. That's not <laughs> as interesting, is it? <laughs> it depends on who you're asking. Is that right? Yes. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so is there anything else you can reveal about it? No, I mean, it's a great character for me because he's a no filter, talks a lot, a lot of shit. A lot of, oh, Scott, I, 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 you can say shit. I can't say shit. Yes. Okay. We'll bleep you, but you oh, can good. say shit. Yeah. A lot of shit. <laughs> um, uh, he's a, he, yeah, he talks a lot. He's, a, he's he's offensive, but he's funny. He's one of those guys. And it's it's completely different from the stuff I've been able to play since being here. So I'm really excited. But about I feel it. like you are an actor, and when I look sort of over your body of work, I feel like you've never played the same type of role twice. Yeah, I try not to. I've been lucky enough to have offers that aren't like that. I. I, I, I just can't do that. I mean, I, I could do that. I, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I enjoy a variety in life. I mean, I, part of the reason I wanted to be an actor is because I didn't want to choose any one thing to be. I kind of want to be a little bit of everything, so. And I know coming off something like Hunger Games, this is such a different tone. It's a smaller budget, different. How, how was, first of all, the fan reaction? That's probably one of the biggest movies in like the last 10 years. Oh yeah. Did you lose a lot of your anonymity? Like were you able to walk down the streets or was it, was it a lot of, are you still getting a lot of feedback from that? I didn't, you know, I didn't lose too much because um, I, th I think the beard throws people. <laughs> if I don't well, you have still have the... it, but it's toned down quite exactly. a bit yeah, since then. <laughs> I, I know it's I'll walk through packs of teenage girls in airports in LA you know you think they'd be looking but I they they don't recognize me their moms usually do oh really so wait yeah. you walk through and you're like oh I'm gonna get mobbed I here. do I sort of I'm looking for a path and <laughs> this was right away when I thought it was gonna happen but it it hasn't really happened which I'm thankful for I like I like my bit of anonymity I like it to, I like to have that but I also like having a great response from a film like that I knew you were tr you went to Juilliard for a year uh, and, you, yes. and you left mm-hmm what advice, because you have played all those different types of roles now, what advice would you give to actors starting out? Because I feel like there's that, you need to have training before you start auditioning. But what is, where do you start and where do you, what would be your advice to somebody? And you know, I have the hardest time um, giving advice to people coming to Hollywood because it's, uh, it's a real trick trying to get attention from people. I mean, it's a, I have a lot of friends who've come out here and they've struggled for a long time and can't get their foot in the door anywhere. And they're great actors. It's not. It's not so much about that, it but you really have to put the work in and then you got to get lucky. I you mean, just have to show up on set naked. That's your trick. Yeah, you got to make sure <laughs> you you're naked. You walk on yeah, set. <laughs> right. You walk on set. That's my advice to any young actor who gets their first job is you walk on set, <laughs> make sure you're naked. They'll notice you. <laughs> they sure will. Hopefully. You'll get cast quite a bit. What? I, <laughs> Unless I, I've already I set know. the bar too high and they're not going to even look at you. So I know you're you, you're sort of an advocate for really healthy eating. You yeah. I think you talked about, and maybe I'm wrong again, but maybe you <laughs> no, talked about, right. about Hunger Games being on set with Lenny Kravitz and you both said you missed hamburgers, but I know he's hamburgers. a really healthy eater as well. Oh, yeah, he's way more than me. Really? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I struggle a bit more than His me. body is like, yeah. unbelievable. His yes, body is yeah. a, a temple. I think about it all the time. We, <laughs> do <Yeah>. you? <laughs> I think time. a lot of us do. A lot of us do. <laughs> is there a place that you can recommend in LA? Because I'm one of those people. Like when I finish shooting, mm. and I I tend to go for the hamburger. I'm like that. Is oh, there yeah. one restaurant or something you could recommend for healthy eating? Yeah. I mean, I love Hugo's. Is uh, I think they use the best ingredients, and in it. it's always um, um, it always tastes great. They do the best with with the right ingredients. So what's like the West special? Like what is what is your sort of go to? I go between the Cuban sandwich and the orange mustard chicken. This doesn't sound that healthy to me. Oh. Cuban Cuban sandwich? Yeah. Oh, it's great. What so is good it? for you. Um, I mean, I'm not like a crazy healthy eater. Like, uh, yeah. like don't. Vegan, you know, No, 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 no. And I don't know if that's always necessarily healthy. Right. I think I, you have to eat to your blood type and all that stuff. And I'm definitely a meat eater. So I, I got to eat some chicken. <laughs> I'm a meat eater. <laughs> I'm a meat eater. That sounded so manly. <laughs> the, 
yeah, the uh, things that salvage. we learned today for what show up on set naked and be a meter. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you eat meat. <laughs> well, thank you for coming in. This was an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll be sure and show up on the set of your next uh, project. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> Any of them, I promise. Yeah.